Okay, this video is going to show you how to upload the photos uh, for a listing into our Google Photos album. Uh, for every one of our listings, we want to create a photo album in our Google Photos and then share that album with our clients, with our agents, and anybody who's interested. Um, this just allows some really robust uh, playing around with these photos in the future, but makes it super simple to share them. Uh, throughout this listing process. So if any agent has inquiries on it and says they can't find them on the MLS or maybe they're from out of a different city and they don't have access to our MLS, we can just share the link to these Google Photos with those agents and they can see them. Um, it's just a real nice and easy way. So this process is in, you know, to be immediately followed by taking the photos from um, or immediately followed by putting the photos into the Pro Photos folder. So Debbie, you've already done this um, a few minutes ago today. You took them from Mill Run Avenue and you extracted the zip file and you took the individual photos and put into this folder. Uh, so from here, the agents are supposed to go in and rename these photos uh, sequentially in the order that they want them to show up on the MLS. So as I'm working on this, if Laura's already started on it, um, we should see these photos start to rearrange by numbers. Um, should just be 1 through 40. Right now the MLS only allows us to upload 40 photos. Uh, if they ever go beyond that then we can either tell the agents to you know do 50 photos or whatever the allowance is but if they don't go that far then we just put in as many as we can up to the limit. So if the agents only say I'm gonna number 1 through 10 put in those 10 first and then you put in just the rest of them that you can fit randomly. Uh, or you know, in whatever order makes the most sense as far as aesthetics go. So I'm going to leave this Google Drive folder open. Um, for now, I'm going to move it to another screen to get it out of the way. And then in my Chrome, I want to. You want to create a new Chrome user. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that right now. That can be for another uh, time. But for this video, is assuming you already have the training user account put on. Um, Pretty straightforward so I'll be happy to help you get that set up but once it's set up you're all set. So you'll open up the training account. <clears throat> uh, if it's not logged in there'll be a little pause icon over this right here. You'd click on it and it'd say paused and then you would sign in. But right now it says sync is on so we're good. So you could do it either go to photos right here uh, you could type in photos.google.com or we could go right here to the shortcut that I've created or shortcut that someone else has created, <laughs> looks like we've got two of them, and go straight into photos. It's just photos.google.com, and you don't even have to have all of this suffix. We can just go straight there, and it takes us to the same spot. So this is every photo that we've got saved. The next thing we want to go to once we get into the main album, the main, um, I guess, the main library, is go to albums, and we want to start with, um, do, 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 let's create, uh, actually, yeah, let's create. We're going to create a shared album, and then we're going to give it a title. And this particular one is 417 Mill Run Avenue. I don't recall the city and zip, but we'll need to get that put in here once um, we know it. So we'll just do comma and then we'll do whatever city and zip that it's in. Okay, and then we're going to do select photos down here. And then up here in the upper right corner, we select from computer. We'll click on that. And now it's going to ask us where we want to pull from. So that's fine. Actually, I think there might be an easier way. You could you could go through the, the folders, um, go to transactions, and go to mill run, and you know go through here pro photos, and then you select all of these photos. You don't just do the ones they've numbered. You do every single one. Um, this is where we put every photo that we get. Now, if there are some really inappropriate photos for whatever reason, the seller had a dead body laying on the floor, then obviously we don't want to put that in here. But Use your discretion. If there's a really bad photo, then we don't want to upload it. But even just some photos that don't look real great, they can go here. We just don't want those on the MLS or Zillow or anything like that. So I'm going to click cancel here just to show you the other way you can do this that I think might be easier. Cancel. Uh, I'm going to click on this X to add to album. And what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this window back in here. 
and if I just click on one one time and then I hold control and hit A it selects all photos then I can grab any one of them click and drag and if I drag it in here it's going to automatically upload it to 417 mil on Adelaide. So if you notice this little clock is a countdown. Uh, wait a minute. Five, five, five. I'm not sure what that is. Telling me how long it's going to take perhaps. I don't know. Anyways. So it shows you what, which number they're on out of how many we're trying to upload. So in a few minutes that's going to start populating and we're good. I don't know what this is trying to say. We'll close that. And then once they, you know, once you get this album created, you click on share. And even while it's still uploading, you should be able to uh, create a link. So we create link, and then we do create link, and it's creating. And then here's the link. So we go in and we copy it. And then let's see which ones it skipped. It gave me a little error here. So we're going to go back and see which three skipped. Um, while it's giving me that, let's look in here. And I'm going to change my view so I can um, get a better view of this name. So I've got 706, 742, and 778 that I need to find. So let's do details and we'll sort by name. So we have 706. sure what's going on here we'll, uh... oh look at that so it looks like she's already gone and that's why that's why I can't find them either so I'm she's already started renaming them and they must have gotten renamed in the middle of my upload so I'm gonna pull these that shouldn't really happen to you that's why it threw me for a loop that's that hardly ever happens <clears throat> generally speaking nobody else will know these photos even exist until after you've taken care of this part so as soon as you put them in Google Drive, go ahead and drag them in here because um, let's continue. that's fine. So as far as the photo name goes, yes, if you were to open the photo and you go up here, oops, you go up here to this little eye, it is going to give you the name of the photo um, so right here. This DSC, this is what the digital camera actually pulls it, you know, gives it a name. So it's kind of irrelevant. Don't worry about that. I'm not worried about names on here. Um, they will be out of order so if you do have the agents ordering them what you can do is wait to do this part until after they do it it's just we want to get this part done as early as we can and the order of the photos on this album aren't quite as necessary um, and I believe that can actually be reorganized manually just by the way. I forget exactly how to do it so once all of these photos are in this album I'm going to go and close this here Okay, once they're all in this album, um, what we can do is select all. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Where are they? So if we click on this top one, scroll all the way to the bottom, hold the shift key, and then click on the bottom one, it will highlight everything in between. We then want to add it to another album. So I'll show you what this is and why. Okay, so the next step we want to do is select all of these and then um, add them to a different album. So what we're going to do is add to shared album and it should give us an option of other albums. We have, oh, there it is, all listing photos. So unfortunately, we can't share every photo we have with anyone publicly. Um, let me exit out of here, go back to my Google Photos and I'll show you what I mean. So if you just go to photos, this shows every photo we have. And if you keep scrolling, you can see the timeline on the right side. And it goes back to 2015 when we first started the company. You know, well, actually, this is 2015. Yeah, I guess this is when we first started the company right here. So we can't share every photo that we've taken. However, what we can what we've done is I've created an album where we take all of our listing photos and we've added it to this one album for every listing. So if we go to this all listing photos, we can now share this with all of our agents or anyone who is doing marketing for us. And they can go in, they can see every listing we've had. Unfortunately, there is no timestamp on them or date stamp, so we can't quite filter it out real clean for them. Um, fortunately for like Brittany, who's doing our marketing, she can um, go into this album, you know, to this account and actually pull what she needs when she needs it, you know, however she wants. 
Um, additionally, what she's doing is she's creating other albums. Let's see if we can find it. Um, some other albums for like houses with pools or maybe horse farms or maybe some fantastic fireplaces, you know, just all sorts of different things. Um, so that way we can pull those albums and use, you know, the, the photos from those albums for different uh, marketing uh, campaigns. But anyway, so you can see these are all different listings. Um, they haven't been done 100% correctly in the past. As you see, it's just, you know, 50, uh, 515 Maple Avenue. What we want to start doing going forward is have the actual city and the zip code in. I'm not worried about the state since we haven't left Virginia yet. Um, if we do expand beyond Virginia, then we'll want to maybe change the way we do it again. But for now, just the city and, and zip is plenty. Uh, if you want to put the state, you're welcome to. It's just not necessary. So that's the process of putting them on Google Photos. Uh, I'll get you the login info if you don't have it by now, by the time you see this video. Um, to get logged in here, um, it is our Google training at keatonco.com account, uh, just so you know. And um, that's how we do the Google Photos. So I'm going to stop this video now. Thanks for watching.